While I was at CES this year, I stumbled upon so many intriguing battery electric products. One really caught my eye that I needed to find out more about, the Snowbot. So my name is Ken Coleman. Um, we're from Snowbot. Snowbot is the world's first autonomous snowblower. So it's the first autonomous snowblower in the world. And basically, the Snowbot works off ultra-wideband technology. Uh, just one important question we usually have is, how does it run, right? So it's, it runs off uh, lithium-ion batteries. So it's fully electric, uh, no emissions. It, everyone asks, well, how does it know where to go? And how does it locate itself? So that's done by three beacons. So. This is one beacon, two beacon, three beacons. Okay. Um, something that's important about this unit, we sent out 80 of these units to test during the winter all across the US and Canada in all different kinds of conditions and wanted users feedback. So with that, um, we're taking that feedback and putting it into the final retail product. So where you see three beacons here, final retail product will only have one. Wow. So you'll put one by your garage or by the front of your house and then you'll drive the snowbot around your driveway uh, or say around your driveway and walkway if that's what you want it to clean and that will keep it in the area that it needs to be and then it will take care of just like you would with a snowblower yourself going in a, in a pattern it will do that as well does it go to a uh, place where it can charge itself once it's done yes so there's two options the snowbot unit itself is one price so it'll retail for around uh, three thousand dollars and then the docking station which i'll show you in a minute the docking station is a thousand dollars the docking station is a bit unique because it uses 100 percent wireless technology what we gain is no corrosion on contacts right we don't have to worry about anything corroding the other thing is it won't short out right okay. we don't have to worry about icing up on the contacts any danger that way so how long can this run for this could run for an hour and a half hour and a half with eight inches of powder if it's heavy wet snow you're probably talking an hour and really the goal with this, married with the the uh, charging station, is that it's, it's internet connected, right? So it knows when it's gonna snow. So basically, it, it knows when it's gonna snow, it'll send you a prompt on your phone. You'll say, yep, I want you to go out during the snowstorm. It'll automatically go out when it gets to around three or four inches. It helps with a couple things. One, it has the ability to take in 12 inches of snow, a foot. But it should really never be doing that. You want to send it out basically, or it will send out on its own, right, every three to four inches, because then snow doesn't have a chance to freeze. So you don't get that frozen layer that everyone hates underneath the driveway that you can't get rid of, right? So, cool. so what about these sensor units? How far can those project out? Yep. Great question. So these guys can cover uh, about a 2,000 square foot area. The retail unit is actually going to use one beacon, and that will have a, a much greater increased range. This is actually was based on standard driveways in the U.S. to cover that range, but the retail unit will actually be able to go even further. Wow. Yeah. Um, so you said $3,000 for the introductory unit, is that yeah. correct? $3,000 for the unit, $1,000 for the docking station. We're actually giving one of these away for free, and we're doing a crowdfunding campaign at the end of February, early March, where you'll we're, we're basing about, uh, our estimate is 50% off the entire package. So instead of $4,000 for everything, $2,000 gets you the unit itself and uh, gets you the docking station as well. And I could show you what the retail unit. Oh, wow. So the goal with that is that is an all steel construction. Um, what we really want to do is add some plastics into it to lighten it up. And anywhere we can use plastic that's durable, we want to do it because we're, everyone's concerned about salt and corrosion on any snowblower they have. It's just bound to happen. Some areas you can't get away from using steel is the auger um, because it, it's just, it wouldn't hold up with plastic, right? But anywhere sure. that we can, we want to lighten the unit up to about 100 pounds. Uh, that's, that's the goal. This also has an adjustable angle. It has a sensor for obstacle detection um, and same 360 degree shoot, which is important. So when you're actually mapping out your driveway, you could choose where you want to throw the snow, but not just one direction. You could say, I want to, I want to put a snow pile or I want to throw all the snow in the lower right hand I want to pile, in the upper left I want to pile. So it could be multiple areas because everyone's property is different. So we wanted to make sure that we you know, understood that and addressed that. Is there app compatibility with this? Yeah, so this is the application. These are the three beacons we were talking about, the three positioning beacons. And basically, this is the unit itself. This is where it's going. This is all snow around it. This is where it's cleaned. Um, and then there's actually lines here because it finished its, its program. They're not on here, but it will actually show you exactly where it is and where it's headed. 
Um, so you can pause it, start it, you could uh, monitor everything from here, the battery life, everything together. Wow. So speaking of battery life, what is the battery capacity on the Snowbot? Sure. So right now it's actually a 31 amp hour battery. It'll run about an hour and a half with eight inches of like powder snow, probably about an hour with um, heavy, heavy wet snow. So the beta unit is uh, 36 volts. We're going to 54 volts in the final version, uh, just because that, that really is as powerful as gas, if not more powerful. The batteries are actually hot swappable. So if you buy the unit by itself, you can buy multiple batteries uh, and you could just hot swap them. So you can either take the unit inside and charge it, or you could just take the battery out, charge it, throw a new one in, and let it keep going. You That's the... great, because just like my lawn equipment that I have right now, I have swappable batteries that are right. compatible with all of my different yep. types of lawn equipment. So yep. uh, the swapping is awesome. I love that idea. Yeah, and this is just really the first, right, the world's first autonomous snowblower. But there's other products in the pipeline um, for really any like smart yard you know setup so very cool well thank you so much for spending some time with us today and teaching very us well. all about your snowbot and no, when my pleasure. can customers get an idea of like an estimated time that this is going to be out on the market sure so uh, it'll be shipping in october november the crowdfunding campaign will be towards the end of february early march um, and then general availability where anybody can buy it for retail will be October, November, and it'll be shipping then as well. That's awesome. This is so great. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, drive, fly, ride, and I guess throw snow. Go electric.